For breakfast today, I have the power of doing WW One Point Waffle with some non-fat Greek yogurt mixed with lemon pudding powder for zero, blackberries for zero, one gram of sweetened coconut flakes for zero, and 27 ml of sugar-free syrup. So this is a one Smart Point breakfast, which I know is very hard to believe, but yes, this is only one Smart Point. And I cannot wait to dig in. For dinner tonight. We are having a shrimp stir fry. So we have shrimp and some stir fry veggies. The shrimp and veggies are zero. I mix that with one tablespoon of hoisin sauce for two smart points. Then I have a half cup of the Trader Joe's brown rice for three smart points. So this is a five smart point dinner. For dessert, I have a piece of Zero Smart Point Lemon Cheesecake. I have a recipe video for the plain cheesecake, but the lemon cheesecake is even better. I'm gonna do another recipe video the next time I make that because it is so good. And one eighth of the pie is Zero Smart Points. Top that with some strawberries, seven grams of light whipped cream. So this is a one Smart Point dessert. For lunch today, I am having this sandwich with oven gold turkey for zero, one slice of Aldi center cut bacon for one, 33 grams of avocado for two on a one smart point Joseph's pita with some grapes and two smart points for these cheddar twists. So this is a six point lunch. For dinner tonight, we are having Trader Joe's takeout or we call it fake out. One cup of mandarin orange chicken for nine smart points. One cup of the veggie fried rice for five smart points. <clears throat> and then I have from Aldi's a chicken egg roll for five smart points. This is, and that includes the sauce packet. So this is a 19 smart point dinner. For lunch today, I have one cup of chicken tortilla soup from Costco for two smart points. Some salsa on top, some light Mexican cheese from Trader Joe's for one smart point. One smart point worth of pita crisps and some non-fat Greek yogurt as sour cream. This is a four smart point lunch. For dessert today, I have a sugar-free dessert shell. The package looks like that. That is two smart points. Then I have Jean the Mucho Mama's Holy Cannoli with 13 no sugar added Galish chips made with non-fat Greek yogurt, some pudding powder, sugar-free vanilla pudding powder, and less than an eighth of a cup of fat-free ricotta. So that's gonna be, I'm just gonna say one smart point. Strawberries and one smart point for the whipped cream, zero for the sprinkles and their little lip sprinkles. How cute. So this is a three smart point, actually four smart point dessert. For dinner tonight, I made this Manhattan clam chowder from Pressure Luck Cooking. I will put the recipe link down below. Also, I still need to recipe build because I did make a few swaps to lighten it up to see the points on it. So I have one cup of that and then I have about one, two, three, four, like 11 of these oyster crackers. You could have up to 29 of these crackers for one smart point. So that's dinner. I made a pita pizza for dinner tonight. This entire pizza is six smart points. So I have one of these Joseph's pitas for one, a quarter cup of the Trader Joe's fat-free pizza sauce for one. Then I cut up two of the Trader Joe's turkey meatballs for three smart points. And I have one and a quarter ounce of Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella for one smart point. Then I just put some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder, and I cannot wait to eat it. So this is six smart points. For dessert today, I have a lemon cheesecake from WW Pound Dropper. The cheesecake itself is zero smart points, one smart point worth of whipped topping, and I have one gram of these graham cracker crumbs, and those are zero smart points. This is a one smart point dessert, and I will have my recipe well, her recipe, but I'm just showing you how to make it. Link down below. And this lemon version is just made with lemon extract and some lemon juice, and it's delicious. For dinner tonight, I am having this spinach, bacon, and cheese breakfast strata, but I did use pancetta instead of bacon, and I did the recipe builder, and it is five smart points for this big piece. This recipe is from Cooking Light, and I will link it down below. For lunch today, I am having this stuffed cabbage I got from the butcher. 
in the app it says one serving of stuffed cabbage is eight smart points so i'm going with that then i just made a little spinach salad on the side seven grams of crouton one smart point 12 grams of ken's light honey mustard one smart point and one eighth cup of reduced fat cheddar one smart point so this is a 11 smart point lunch <laughs> 